Leaves underfoot, the sound of your trudging through this quiet forest only helps lull you to sleep. The day has been long, the moon's bright light over eager for your weary self. It lights your way just barely, but enough to see the path and lake ahead. The top of the lake glimmers, almost crystalline under the ever-darking sky. Iridescent ripples dotting around as various fish curve their way through the placid waters. Out of the corner of your eye, a faint glimmer, red, just for a moment. To get a better look, you climb a nearby tree, seeing that a branch overhangs the spot with the glimmer. Getting up the tree is fine. You do feel a little ridiculous as you shimmy along the twiggier than expected branch, the looming lake lingering beneath you. It's quite a fall. You hear creaking. Pausing for a moment, the sound seems to be coming from the branch, behind you. And then it stops, almost as soon as you stop moving. A weird scuffling sound breaks the silence. From here you can't fully get a good look at the cause of the noise. Whatever the noise is, it's not worth dallying around any longer. You shimmy as hastily as you can forward, reaching what you hope to be a safe point at the end of the branch. Glancing down at the water, you see once again the quick, bright glimmer of red. Stretching down, you are able to skim the water with the tips of your fingers. Thankfully, the branch slowly giving way gets you closer as you cling on for dear life. Your arm plunges into the cold water, shock reverberating up the rest of you. Success! You grasp something. Retracting your arm, you see in your hand a small metallic object, smaller than expected. A large sewing needle, about the length of your middle finger, thicker than a regular needle but still very much sharp. The tip is stained a ruby red, almost blended with the silver steel. You rotate the item in your hand, following the edge of the stain around. A sudden drop in the branch surprises you, and though you're able to hang on, the needle leaves a small slice in the side of your finger. It stings, and though the wound warm and reddened, no blood is drawn. The cut is only slightly deep, blood yet to spill from it. After a few seconds, the sting numbs to a dull ache, the warmth from it fading. You catch your reflection in the water below, and see yourself nursing your hand. A figure also perches behind you.